Hi all and welcome to my channel, the F and IT Guy. My name is Fluke and today we're going to be importing contacts into the AD or the Active Directory via PowerShell. And I'm going to be doing this because I want to use it as a supplier directory or telephone directory. So first thing first, we're going to go into your Active Directory users on computers and we're going to create an organizational unit to put all of these contacts in. Once we've done that, we're going to create a contact and the reason why we're doing this contact is so that we can look at what the attributes would look like. So there's the contact, we're going to be filling in some of the attributes quickly. And to actually view the attributes, we need to enable it. So we enable it by going to the view and then saying advanced features. You're going to see everything is going to reload. Then we're going to, going to go into the EX phone directory. Right click the new contact properties. And you're going to see an attribute editor. And inside the attribute editor, you're going to have in your left hand side all the attributes. On your right hand side, all the values that correspond to that attribute. So as you can see, company FFS, or if we go down a little bit, give a name, Fluke. So this is the attributes that we will be using inside PowerShell to create an initial contact and we will take that and break it into a little script. So what we're going to do is open PowerShell. And I'm going to open the ISE as administrator because I've got the script on this already so to create a contact in PowerShell we need to copy a little script and or not copy a little script we need to open a commandlet and that commandlet is the new AD object so what we're going to do first is let's go get help on the new AD object And there you can see there's quite a bit of information in there. I'm going to do this one specifically that gives me the examples. And there you can see the various examples available to create an AD object. And one of them specifically is to create a contact, create a new contact. And this one sets some additional properties that we're not going to be using. But this is basically how we're going to go about to create that contact. So what I've done earlier is I actually just created a contact and I'm going to copy that little commandlet in here. Just quickly go with go through with you on what it says there. So there you can see new AD object dash name, the name of the object. Now bear in mind this needs to be unique. So I'm just going to change it to like that because I've already created a contact with that name next it's a contact type and then the path is where we want to create it so as you can see there there is the OU DC 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 so that's basically the directory path what you can get in there to get the directory path is quite easy if you go into your active directory users computers right click your organizational unit go to properties and you'll see you've got that ad additional information as well, the attribute editor. And you're going to look for distinguished name. There it is. Double click that and you can literally copy and paste that in there. This is exactly the path that you're going to be using. 
back into PowerShell. Other attributes, because this is a new AD object, you can specify attributes based on that type of object. So if this was a computer, for instance, you would have other different um, attributes that you can fill in. So for now, I have chosen to use the given name, the company name, the telephone number, mail and mobile. As you can see, this is absolute jargon in there. It's just to show how it actually works. So what I'm going to do, if we go there, enter, created, and if we go into the Active Directory, refresh, there you go. It is created. Go to the properties, you will see all the necessary places is filled in as per what I specified. And under the attribute editor, again, all of it shows there. So depending on what you want or not want, you can decide to add more attributes, less attributes, depending on where you want to go. So what I've done now is I've literally created a script that will import a little CSV file that goes line by line and imports it like that. So that I have created here in Excel. I'll quickly give you a view there. There it is, first name, email, telephone company, which organization unit and a mobile number. And this is just random data that I have filled in there. Bearing in mind that it will import it exactly like it is there. I mean, so if this is all in capitals, it will import it all in capitals. And as you can see, it immediately stands out compared to the rest. So make sure your formatting is right prior to importing it. The reason I did this in Excel is because Excel allows me to quickly, um, how can I put it, to quickly um, um, format it correctly and then save it as a CSV file, a comma separated CSV file. Um, so I don't have to do all of that work and Excel did everything for me in that sense. And I can just add on here quickly and uh, easily. So it's normally as easy as dragging, there you go it fills in for me or if there's a specific company you know as i type it in it will go in so it just helps me quickly formatting it perfectly okay let's delete that out of there save this and then once that is saved i'm going to open the script so prior to doing that let's just clear out this here so as you can see that there is nothing in there i'm going to open the little script and i saved that script on my machine already so i'm going to go open contact import and you can get the script from the blog. I put it exactly like this there. Um, you can change depending on the attributes you want, but this is the basis of the script. So first things first, we're going to import the Active Directory. Depending on the version of PowerShell you're on, this should automatically happen. Like you see earlier, I didn't need to import, but it's there just in case. Then I create a variable, AD contacts, and that imports the file I just created. It's a CSV file, so let's quickly open that file as you can see comma separated and it automatically puts the necessary uh, quotation marks where it needs to be if it sees a there's, there's something strange happening in there this is specifically because there's commas there and we don't want the commas to be also separated okay back into the little script i then read each line so each contact in that file i go and pull each part of information so the first name the ou email telephone company and mobile and this is all the headers that i used in there so as you can see the ou is the ou header so as long as this is the same you should be able to pull it in without any problems um, i made a note here this refers to the ou the user account will be created in meaning that you can create different contacts in different organizational units it's not necessarily that it all has to be in the same one um, but for my purposes it's all in the same one and then I literally take that script, this one over here, and I just fill it in. But instead of actually putting in information, I put in the variables. As you can see, first name, it's a contact, organization unit, etc., etc., everything I've mentioned before. And as simple as clicking on the run button, done. We go into AD, let's do a refresh. There's all the contacts that's been created. Go here to properties as you can see everything is filled in so i haven't put this context as protected i mean you can put it in as protected when you create it i have not done that at all but what i want to show you is exactly what i said earlier about the um, formatting it correctly so i'm going to go here and i'm going to go 
say that. I'm going to run the same script again. As you can see, capitals. So depending on your needs, if everything's going to be caps, it's probably going to look normal. Um, otherwise, you know, properly formatted prior to going in. Especially if you're going to be using it in specific places like Exchange. I'm going to be using it in a supplier portal, so a little web page that's going to just bring up a list of all the suppliers with the telephone numbers. Um, so depending on where you want to use it, make sure you format it correctly. It's harder work cleaning afterwards than cleaning before. Um, so yeah, that's a little tip from my side. Um, so yeah, if this worked for you, please leave a comment in the section below or, you know, click the like and share on social media to help spread the word that this is how you can do it. I mean, there's a lot of things out there on how to create AD user. The actual contacts, it took me a little bit of research to, to get done. So I hope you like it, you know, click that like and share button.